Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, removing a background in Adobe Photoshop. Now there's a million tutorials on how to do this, but what I'm trying to do in this one is show you Refine Edge and how it works. Too many people will bail on Refine Edge too quickly. It's powerful, but you gotta know how to tweak it. All right, let's go have a look. So here I have a horse and I want to remove the background and I specifically chose something with a lot of uh, hair around here. So the first thing to do is to grab the quick selection tool. And the quick selection tool is above the magic wand. You can just forget ever using the magic wand. You can use the left and right arrows or left and right bracket keys. Some people call them square bracket keys um, to, or that you can use the keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to start going over the main parts, make my brush smaller, and go over the other parts. Make sure I'm getting the hooves because they are a different color. The front edge of each one of the legs, which is slightly a different color. Make sure the nose that's a little bit lighter. I'm not going to worry about the hair at the top. And when I selected this part here, it selected all of this down in here. So I'm going to hold the Alt key on Windows, the Option key on Mac, and start selecting the area I don't want selected. And this can be fairly crude. It should be close, but it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, once I have that selected in the top, click Refine Edge. And you'll probably start with this Marching Ants look, which isn't very much help at all. There's an overlay look on black, on white, black and white, which is the mask, on the layer itself. And one thing that I always suggest is I'm putting this horse in a new photograph. So, or it, this could be another video. If you're going to do that, then make sure it's on the new background right away. It's, you'll waste too much time, time trying to fix this on a white background or a black background if it's not gonna be there. So put it on the original footage. All right, next up, if we go over here to uh, black and white, this is the mask that we're showing. And watch what happens when I click on, or when I uh, raise the radius. As I start to raise this up, you'll see the hair starting to sprout. Pretty cool. You'll also notice that it's getting some of the stuff in the middle. Well, if we turn on smart radius, it's going to remove that. Now, when we look at this on the layer itself, I moved a slider, clicked on one box, and boom, we're way, way closer. But we can, we can do a little bit more uh, on this to make it even better. So back to black and white. If we uh, look at our adjust edge controls, we've got smoothing, feathering, contrast, and shifting the edge. If I add more contrast to this, you can see that it's tightening up the selection in here. And we can shift the edge. Um, and smooth this out and feather this if we want. What I want to do is go back to on layers and see if I need to shift the edge. What shifting an edge is choking or spreading would be another term for this. Depending on how refined edge is working, I could choke this in or spread this out. I'm going to leave that there. We can also decontaminate the, the uh, colors of the background, and this will uh, help get rid of any fringes in here. I don't want to do that right now. Next up, we have a choice of making a selection, and if you're not familiar with a layer mask or a selection, when you come out of here and you have a selection and you deselect, you've lost all of your work, and, and that can be a huge pain. So always choose layer mask or new layer, even better, new layer with layer mask. And I can tell it to remember these settings. When I click OK, it turned off the other one here and turned that one on and put a mask in there. To see the mask, hold the Alt key on Windows, Option on Mac, and click once on the right-hand side, and there is our mask. From here, I could get a regular brush and fix things up. So if I wanted to go and repair some of the things in here, I'm going to get my brush tool 
and I have a set of keyboard shortcuts that I always use. B for brush, D for default, X to flip the colors, zero to maximize that. And now I'm painting black so I can fix any areas in the mask. And if you want, you can click in the image and click back on the mask and I'm actually editing the mask while I'm editing the image. So you've got something to look at here. Now I, I went way out of there on purpose just to, to show you that. Another thing that's important about this is, let me just show you how the levels control can work on something like this. So I'm gonna do again another quick selection and uh, let's go back to refine edge, turn that up, get rid of smart radius. All right, if we look at this as, at black and white, you can actually see there's some gray inside here. Now what I want to show you is there's some gray in there. So again, we'll make a layer mask, click OK, and let's look at the mask and grab the layers control, control L, command L on the Mac. And if I take this top down, see how I can remove that gray area. It's even better when you select the image to look at it, click once on the mask, and I'm editing the mask. Now watch what happens as I edit that mask. You see I can bring back those edges. So don't bail on the Refine Edge tool and make sure you have a layer mask because you can tweak it further. These are some really complex selections. And when they're really simple selections, you won't believe how easy it is. All right, so hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please take a moment and click on the subscribe button for video reveal. And if you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.